everyone and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And today we're going to be discussing HKD, AMTD, GOVX, AEMD, GEGI, OTRK, OWUV, PGY, SIRC, and EMGE. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and is not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer, insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Uh, great start to August. Uh, just been seeing a lot of fireworks on the OTC, uh, NYSC, and big board. Um, speaking of fireworks, we're going to have a major alert tomorrow morning before the the bell on a very very popular OTC name this one looks to have bottom the way to get this report is by going to signup.insiderfinancial.com or insiderfinancial.com sign up on any of the pop-ups sign up with your email and your mobile number it works for all numbers worldwide simply enter your country code first followed by your number for US and Canada be one plus area coded number never begin the format with zero it will not work and since we really all of our profiles just before the opening bell text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts and speaking of our alerts the best part about them is that they are completely free we do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever we are a completely free service but the big runner today uh, uh, HKD uh, this has just been absolutely incredible. This is a supernova move, uh, absolutely parabolic. Uh, it was a spinoff from AMTD, uh, opened at $13, hit 742, closed at 742 today, trading at over 800 in the after hours. But the best way to play this, guys, is with a $2 penny stock, AMTD. This is the company that it is, the, this is the parent of HKD. So while uh, HKD, KD has a $137 billion market cap. AMTD has just a $642 million market cap. Great arbitrage opportunity. AMTD is the way to play HKD. Next up is uh, Monkeypox Play, GOVX. We've been talking about this over and over on the channel. It's just been an incredible move. Uh, for our subscribers over the past couple of days. Uh, it's even bidding in the after hours over $4. But we talked about over the weekend AEMD. Uh, this was a monkeypox play that is undiscovered that people weren't talking about. Had a nice move today up 38%. Congrats to all who caught the move in AEMD. AEMD. That's one way, to, guys, to make a lot of money in the markets is look for the hot sector, then look for other uh, related names that have yet to run. AEMD was a classic example of this. Uh, next up is uh, GEG. GI. Uh, this is just a $4.9 million reverse merger play, putting out a lot of updates on Twitter. Company said today, we are excited to see Pink Current. It's going to be a busy week. We have a narrow focus. Look for news to come. The company has been telegraphing on Twitter its moves. Uh, just on July uh, 14th, it said change of control has been approved and is now complete. We're able to post our March 31st report. We anticipate seeing current shortly, and we got that today. So again, the company is telegraphing all its moves on Twitter. We like what we see. Reverse merger plays are hot. These moves can these stocks can get uh, moving parabolic, uh, and this one has just a 4.9 million dollar market cap. So there is a lot to like with GEGI. Next up, guys, is OTRK. Uh, this one checks off all the right criteria. 20% uh, of the float is short. There's just 11 million shares in the float and just a $29 million market cap. So we got low market cap, low float, low float, and high percentage of that float being short. So we got all the makings of a short squeeze runner here in OTRK. So get it on your radar screen.
Next up, guys, is OWUV. Nice move today, up 37%. Uh, this one still has just a $12 million market cap. This was a huge winner for uh, InsiderFinancial.com subscribers last year. Ran from just down here where we were at uh, just two cents all the way to 65 cents. So this one has runner in its blood. And it's getting very getting noticed here on OTC fin, FinTwit. Moon Market, who has a huge following, has been all over this one talking about it. And uh, it's just been incredible move here. Uh, great trader. Uh, pulled back. Uh, last week we saw a major move from uh, just here at two cents all the way up to uh, uh, 13 cents before some profit taking pulled all the way back down to five cents. We're getting another move here uh, in OWUV uh, Karen Courier who uh, all of our subscribers are, are, are familiar with uh, she's been instrumental in uh, in OWUV so definitely uh, OWUV is uh, one to get on your on your radar screen Next up is PGY, another parabolic runner. I've been talking about this one on the channel. Uh, it's been run. It has run from just two dollars all the way to thirty-two today. Uh, there's just three hundred and forty thousand shares in the float. So again, this is another example of a low float short squeeze play, and it is just absolutely. Uh, we're seeing a rip your face off type rally, and just decimating the shorts, which we love to see. Finally, uh, the bulls and longs are taking control of the of the markets, and we are seeing some nice short squeeze plays. Uh, next up guys is SIRC. Uh, we've been talking about this one. Uh, nice put in a triple bottom here at 15 cents. Uh, we're just under 30 cents. Uh, this one here is a prime candidate to uplist to NASDAQ. Major revenues, uh, solar play, been putting out a lot of updates. Uh, their last one was they uh, introduced low income solar financing prod, uh, uh, product to non-commercial, non-profit commercial entities. Uh, just they're canceling shares. Uh, report uh, they reported uh, in May a record 110 million in year-to-date sales so again this company is you know hitting the ball out of the park uh, there's a lot to like with SIRC uh, and you know again we see this one is having uh, still having room to run Lastly, but not least, is EMGE. Talked about this one uh, last week, guys. Uh, continues to make made new highs today. Uh, this is one that you should have on your radar screen. I've uh, been putting out a lot of PRs. Got a lot of deals going to be closing. Uh, and most importantly, you got the former uh, L'Oreal president. He's going to be, Jim Morris, he's going to become the full-time CEO of EMGE. He's got big plans for EMGE. A lot of uh, deals are going to be closing. He's got a lot of acquisitions on his radar screen uh, EMGE there's just a lot to like and uh, incredible play with just a 5.7 million dollar market cap but overall great start to the month and tomorrow we are absolutely going to light up the OTC uh, we think this one is huge popular name uh, and a lot of people are really going to like our write-up and uh, we're expecting some major fireworks in this name. Uh, we're going to see a lot of action tomorrow on the OTC and the only way to get this full report is by going to signup.insiderfinancial.com. There is a link in the description. It's also pinned comment. Uh, sign up for free with your email and your mobile number. Again, this is going to be a big, big day, a big Tuesday on the OTC. So you do, this is one report you are not going to want to miss. With that being said, I want to wish everyone a great night. Let's have a fantastic day on the OTC tomorrow, and I'll be coming live to you after the bell with a new update. Have a great night, and be chatting soon. Bye-bye.